Welcome to the review of the Open Heavens Daily Devotional. Today, Sunday, 12th of March 2023. And we have a topic for us that says, God can see you. God can see you. He can see me too. Let's see what this actually means. But then let's pray first. Our Father, we thank you for your word. And we ask that Holy Spirit divine, you please teach us yourself. And indeed, let us see that indeed you can see us and that you, your presence would always be with us. In Jesus' name, Amen. You're welcome once again, reviewing the Open Heavens Daily Devotional for today with the topic, God can see you. God can see me as well. And our Bible reading is taken from John, the Gospel of John chapter 14. We'll be reading verse 18. John 14, verse 18, and it says, I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. That's the Lord Jesus promising us that he is not going to leave us, we, his followers, alone as orphans. Meaning, that he would remain our Father, he would always be there for us, and so shall it be for us at all times. Now, our memory verse is taken from Psalm 33, verse 18, Psalm 33, verse 18, and it says, Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, and upon them that hope in his mercy. The eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, and those that hope in his mercy. Hmm. So, yes, God can see all things, but he doesn't rest his eye on everyone. From this scripture, it's clear that it is, his eyes are rested upon those that truly fear him. The question I have for us this morning, do you fear the Lord? Do you want the Lord's eye to be upon you? Do you want to be one of those that he has said he would not live as orphans and he will come to be with? Then it means that you must fear him. You must put yourself in that sp space where his eyes will rest upon you, where he will not leave you. And I pray that we would be able to do that by his grace in Jesus' name. So our Father and the Lord here shares with us to say, many times we have expectations of how we want God to act on our behalf. And when it doesn't play out exactly as we expect, sometimes we get discouraged. The word of the Lord is saying, do not be discouraged. As long as your eyes, as long as your faith is in him and you stay within the dictates of his word, he has promised never to leave us alone as orphans and that he will come to us. Proverbs 13, 12 says, hope deferred makes the heart sick, but when the desire cometh, it's a tree of life. Our desires will come even according to God's will in Jesus' name. Now, our Father and the Lord says here that, he wants you to know that God would answer your prayers, you know, in ways you never thought possible in Jesus' name. Case in point, Anna. You know, Anna in 1 Samuel 1, 3 to 18, 1 Samuel 1, 3 to 18, when she was going to Shiloh that time, that time she prayed and God heard her prayer, you know, and, and, and the priest said, go, your God has answered your prayer. And then she, gave, she conceived Samuel and gave birth to Samuel. She didn't know that morning that she was going to Shiloh that that would be the last time she would come to Shiloh as a barren woman. So this, what this is saying is you just never can tell when God's visitation will come. What if she had given up that day and said, I've been going to Shiloh all these years, what has happened to me? No, I won't be going this time around. Then she would have just lost out at the very verge of our breakthrough. Pray that wouldn't be our portion, that wouldn't be our story in Jesus' name. You know, Father the Lord shared the story of a crusade that they had in, in Haiti, you know, and he was just ministering and the word of the Lord came that someone is important and the Lord has restored, you know, has restored him and healed him. This person wasn't even at, physically at the meeting. The person was somewhere far away, you know, in the same country, however, listening to the radio and listening to the crusade on the radio. He heard the word and it became life, it became, you know, it, became, it produced a testimony because it became whole. So he ran from his home, ran because he was lying down on his bed where he was. 
He ran from his home to where the crusader was happening and started shouting, I am he, I am he. I'm the person that you just mentioned this case and I've been healed. Hmm. Lord knows how long that person had been impotent for. What if he hadn't been listening to that crusade on radio? What if it was that day he decided to give up and say, I've been, I've been born again, I've been waiting on God for so long. I might as well just give up. Do not give up. The Lord will never fail to come through for you in Jesus' name. My Father, the Lord wraps up his, his notes to us today saying, you might have been praying for so long, but please do not give up. Never give up. He will answer you soon in Jesus' name. Keep waiting on the Lord. Psalm 27 verse 14. Psalm 27 verse 14. We are encouraged to wait on the Lord because he will strengthen your heart. Wait upon him. But that's for his children. If by chance you had yet to give your life to Christ and you're listening to this word and you want to also wait upon him and ensure and wait to see that he will strengthen your heart and come through for you, then you need to surrender your life to him. You need to come to him and share this prayer and say, Lord Jesus, forgive me for all my trespasses. May confess those sins and ask that he should have mercy on you and that he should please blot away your transgressions with his blood and accept him, profess him as your Lord and Savior. And promise him you will not go back to the sins. In Jesus' name, amen. As you said that prayer, say congratulations to you. You wouldn't wait on the Lord in vain. He will come through to you. He has promised that, when we, that he would never leave us as orphans and he will come to us. He will come to those that are his. And um, the, our prayer point today says, Father, I know you can see what I am going through. Please strengthen my heart and help me to remain steadfast in Jesus' name. Remember, the eyes of the Lord are only upon those that fear him and are hope on his mercy. His eyes are upon us and he will come through for us. Thank you for listening and God bless you.